Hey everyone, today's video is the long-awaited Sephora VIP sale haul. Oh my goodness, I have been dying to open up my boxes and film this video so I can use my products so bad. I had to go to LA on Monday and then today we had the carpets cleaned so I couldn't come upstairs at all to like film until late tonight. So I'm filming this at like 8.30 at night right now. Oh, also let you guys know, I am starting my blog website again, so I'm finally like posting new posts over there. I actually just recently did one. It's madisonmillerblogs.com. I always have it linked down below, but I'm so excited to be bringing it back because also there is a newsletter over there, so you wanna make sure you subscribe to the newsletter because it will let you know every single time I post, and I'll be doing all my uploads over there as well, so that way you can kind of count on those notifications rather than on YouTube, because YouTube, as we all know, it's a little difficult. Also, make sure to follow me on all my platforms. It's always linked down below. It's Madison 89 Miller everywhere. Basically, if you saw it on my Instagram, I had like a bunch of boxes filled with makeup. I'm gonna be doing mystery box giveaways because I have so much makeup right now and I am just cleaning through everything. I have a lot more to clean through, so stay tuned for those, but there's gonna be a lot of giveaways across platforms. But now, without further ado, finally, let's go ahead and get into what I bought. All right, so first off is actually a recommendation from you guys. I went on Twitter and asked you, what should I get for the Sephora VIB sale? Because even I was a little stumped, you guys. I didn't know what to get or what I wanted. And a lot of you recommended this to me, so I'm really excited to try it out. This is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. This is the Body Lava Body Illuminizer. A lot of you guys said this thing was like really cool. I got in Who Needs Clothes. Oh my goodness, check out this packaging right here. Oh, that is pretty. This thing is huge. So it's a silky sublime shimmer dewy ultra light, ultra lit finish. And then the rest is in other languages. So it's just a body luminizer. So I think this would be really pretty for the summertime. I even plan on going out and laying out a little bit just to help get me a little bit of tan. I'm really tired of self tanning. Holy moly, this is really pretty. Oh, you know what? This would be really pretty like right here on like the collarbone and the shoulders. And it feels good too. It feels moisturizing. And it's got little bits of glitter in it and it just looks like, it makes you look just very just luminous. That is, and it also makes you feel really smooth too. It almost feels like an oil. So this is real, smells good too. So this is cool. I'm definitely going to be using this. I have a couple of events to go to in the next couple of weeks. So I think this would be really pretty like on the shoulders and stuff. And honestly, I like it cause you don't even need a tan. I thought this was gonna be like a little bit of like a tint to it, but it's not. It actually just works for any skin tone, which is awesome. And I love that, so yay. Also next week, I'm gonna be doing like a little Sephora VIB sale update of this haul. So that way I can let you guys know how these products are working for me. My sweatshirt's soaking me. If you have not watched my recent videos of my pregnancy updates, then you probably don't know this, but my skin is like ultra dry, like Sahara Desert peeling dry. Nothing's working for it right now. I'm literally lathering my skin in oils right now to help it. So a lot of the things I got here, you guys are gonna see like a little bit of a trend. The next thing that I got here is the Dr. Jart Plus Soothing Hydra Solution. This is a deep hydration sheet mask. It soothes dry skin and protects the moisture barrier. I, when I saw that this was like for hydration, I was like, I wanna try that. I love my sheet mask and Dr. Jart is great. So I'm really, really excited to try this guy out. If I like him and he works well for my skin, then I will most likely be purchasing more. All right, so next up, I think I totally had pregnancy brain because when I was unboxing all my makeup from the Sephora like haul, and I was like, God, I swore like I purchased the Cover of X foundation. Like I know I purchased it. And I even looked at the sheet of paper, like the receipt to see if it was in, like if it was supposed to be in the box because they have forgotten to put stuff in my box before. And I was like, oh, I didn't order it. And I just, I, I don't know. It just didn't make sense to me. But now that I pulled this one out, I knew I ordered a foundation. It was just a different foundation. <laughs> I need to get that Cover of X one though. So that's going to be an order probably tonight. <laughs> But this is the foundation that I ordered and I'm really excited to try this one out too. This is the Influencer Clean Longwear Foundation. This is the Sunday Riley. I really love their products and when I saw that they came out with the foundation, it made me really excited for it. So this is a natural looking longwear lightweight feel satin matte finish, medium to full coverage foundation. One really weird word that's called cyclo pentyl silo 
Xane free. I don't know what that word is. Um, synthetic, fragrance free, talc free, gluten free, paraben free, cruelty free, which is amazing. And it looks like it's also supposed to balance the appearance of surface skin redness for naturally flawless skin. Ooh, very nice. I like a lot of things that are in you. Like it. So let me know if you guys want to see a review video on this. I will be more than happy to do it. Also, I got it in the shade 110, which is very fair with pink undertone. So this should work for me. It has a pump like so. Yeah, I think it might work. It's a little pink though, but I think it's definitely gonna work. On camera, it looks like it works, but on camera, like honestly, you can make almost any foundation work on camera if you have good lights in front of you. The color should work for me, so definitely let me know if you guys want me to do a little like wear test throughout the day review on it. All right, so next up, speaking about oils, I am so blown away by how inexpensive The Ordinary is. Holy moly, like crazy. I was going, cause I couldn't figure out what I wanted. So I was like, you know what, what do I need right now? Like what does what my skin need? And I was like, it needs hydration. So I went on like the skin concerns and this popped up and this is The Ordinary Hydrators and Oils. It's hyaluronic acid, 2% plus B5. So it's a hydration support formula with ultra pure vegan hyaluronic acid. And hyaluronic acid is really good during pregnancy, they said, because it really helps reduce hydration and moisture into the skin. Um, I did that little research because I was like, is this safe for me? Because whenever I see acid, I get scared, but they said it's safe. So it just looks like this guy right here. And the ingredients are actually very simple in it too, which I really like. You can apply a few drops to the face in the morning and at night before creams. So I'm definitely going to be trying this out tonight. I will let you guys know next week how it's doing. I feel like I have a lot of like skin stuff, but next up we actually have a makeup product and I like have seen so many people talk about this. I'm like, God, this thing looks so pretty. This is the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder. It's a loose powder highlight in Illuminati. Oh my goodness, this thing is beautiful. Look at this. Oh. I am usually not a fan of loose powders, but I've seen so many people rave about this stuff and I was like, oh, I need to try this out and look at that. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. Oh, that is so pretty. It is such a fine powder that it literally just looks like second skin and just gives you that really pretty like wet dewy look. That is gorgeous. I cannot wait to try this out. Oh, that is gonna be so pretty on the cheeks. On the trend of highlighters, I have seen so many makeup videos use this highlighter and I was like, oh, that thing is gorgeous too. I'm like on a trend. I like, I obviously wanna give my skin a glow right now because it's lacking it. It really is. Everyone thinks that, oh, you have a glow, you're pregnant. No, in person, you guys, it is dead, it is dull. And I have, I'm on a trend right now with glowy, dewy skin, <laughs> moisturized skin. So I picked up the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amorezzi highlighter, and this is what the packaging looks like. Really beautiful. Oh my God, look at that. Oh, I just love the texture of it. It just gives it so much dimension and just, oh my goodness, it's beautiful one sweep, one sweep. Oh, that is pretty. That is so pretty. Oh, you're gonna make me look like I have that pregnancy glow. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, that one is going to be another one that I'm very, very excited about. Yay, that was a good purchase too. All right, so next up, as you guys saw on my wish list, I was going to get the Natasha Denona Tropic Palette and a ton of you guys told me in the comments down below, do not get it. You're like, it is not worth the money. It has bad reviews. Um, a lot of people were saying the mattes were good, but the shimmers were horrible. And I trust you guys. And I was like, if a lot of you guys are telling me this, then it's most likely true. And I am not about to spend $129 on a palette that is supposedly not that great. So I went ahead and grabbed a different palette. And this is the Pat McGrath Labs. This is the Sublime Bronze Ambition palette. Oh no, one of the pants fell out. Hang on, I think it's okay. I think it's okay. There we go. Just gotta be careful with it. But look at how pretty this palette is. I love how neutral the tones are. The bronze shades look absolutely beautiful. They gave you a matte shade and oh my goodness, I'm gonna love this one for the inner corner, like on the lid. That's going to be stunning. Let's swatch. Oh, I love it that these are like neutral shades. I feel like she hasn't come out with a neutral palette 
all the other ones are like, you know, out there. But these are freaking buttery. Oh my goodness. Oh, these are so pigmented. This is definitely worth it. Oh my gosh. Oh, so pretty. Oh my goodness. Okay, really, really excited for those. Oh, look at this one too, this like copper one right here. Oh my God. These will be, this is like the perfect bronze palette to go for for the summertime when you have like a really nice tan going on or a fake tan going on. This will look stunning on the eyes and oh, I am so excited. We should probably just even do like a little get ready with me testing out my Sephora makeup because Wow. All right, so now getting into like the skincare category again. So like I said, I went on the skin concern section and this little guy popped up on there and he really intrigued me and I was like, I really wanna try you out. So this is the Ole Henriksen. This is the Nurture Me Moisturizing Cream. It intensely hydrates. Yes. Soothes, softens with a multivitamin blend and rosehip fruit oil. And a ton of you have been telling me to use rosehip oil. Like so many of you guys, because of my dry skin, you guys are amazing with your recommendations. Oh my God, this smells so good. It smells like fruit, which is why it smells so good. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it smells bomb. Okay, I cannot wait to put you on my face. All right, so last but not least is yet another skincare product and I have seen Casey Holmes rave about this so much saying it's amazing for dry skin. So I'm like, yes, give it to me. Let me get this in my bag. And this is the L'Occitane Ultra Rich Body Cream. She said this is like a godsend for dry skin. And she has been through so many of these because I always see it in her videos, like for repurchases. So I was like, you know what? I need to hop on that bandwagon and try it out. So I cannot wait to do this. I'm gonna lather my body in this tonight and see how this is gonna go. I'm gonna have a little pamper night. All right, so that is everything that I got in my Sephora VIB sale haul. I honestly think there's a chance I might be making another purchase. I'm gonna be watching some other people's videos and see if there's anything that I'm like, ooh, I forgot about you. I really wanna try you out. So there most likely will be a, maybe another haul in the future. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoy this and if you wanna see more haul videos. Also comment down below if you guys have already hit like the first part of the sale and let me know what you guys already bought or let me know in the comments down below what you guys are planning on getting for the last part of the sale, which is April 20th to April 23rd. And yeah, maybe you guys can give me some ideas too because you guys already helped me out on a few of these products. But I think I definitely might be going and getting that Cover FX foundation. I don't know how I forgot to get that. Dang it. <laughs> but I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.